So today it's Isaac King videos. And today I've got an interesting problem. For some odd reason, my Amazon Fire tablet is stuck on the Amazon logo. And it's been on here for quite some time. So today I'm gonna to show you guys how to fix this. So I don't know what happened. I just left it to rest. It's just stuck on the Amazon logo. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix this. So, firstly, we need to go into the recovery mode by pushing hold the power button. Depending which fire tablet you have, sometimes it could be this button or the this button to press. For this tablet, it's the lower key. So, I'm going to push and hold together, guys. I'm going to watch the device shut off. Like this. So, please wait. It should boot into the recovery mode. Like this. So, what we need to do now is number one solution is wipe data factory reset. I would like to do this one, but I do not want to resell my data off this. Because I think it's a kernel system problem. So, we're going to go for ADB. So, as you can see, it shows something like this. Plug in the Android tablet to the computer. So, now it's in ADB mode. What you need to do now is you need to go to... So, you need to go onto YouTube and search up Amazon Fire Update. Okay, so you'll see the first link. Click like this. So... Now find your device, so mine is an Amazon Fire 10th 7th edition and I'm going to click on the download update. Once the update is done, you would see something just like this, a bin file. So what you need to do next, what you need to do now is you need to go to ADB, Android Debug Bridge, and you need to type in ADB Sideload. And I'm going to drag the firmware package to the, to, the, to the side loader. So now I'm going to click this and we're going to watch it update just like this. And this should fix the Amazon problem. You would see a new message on your screen saying verifying update package. And please wait until that's 100%. While this is updating, I'm going to tell you some of the causes of this, you know, weird Amazon logo glitch. Sometimes it could be a corruption in the file system, in the system dash system territory or, you know, partition. This can be fixed by doing a re-update or a reinstall of the system. Your data and your stuff will still be there. Just don't do a factory reset. See now, if you press power button volume up, you can actually get to another screen, which is pretty cool. This update screen. So it's actually pretty cool. That means it's working. Around 40% mark, you will see a new message on this screen. It would say patching system file unconditionally, I think is what it says. So I've noticed that 99% of you aren't subscribed to my channel. So please subscribe and click the like for more videos just like this. And also, it will really help my channel. You can see around this time now, you'll see a new message. I think it's when it gets to the 50% mark, so sorry about that. There we go. Installing update, patching system image unconditionally. It does it around the 45 or 40% mark, so I was right all along. Sorry about that. You can see now it is patching the system image. So you can see the download is at 100% because it says total transfer 2000 or 200 whatever. So as you can see, install from ADB is complete. Now, if this doesn't work, navigate to wipe data, factory reset, and hit the power button, and then navigate to yes, delete all user data. So once we've done with that, we're now going to 
boot the device up and see if that fixes it. So as you could see, if we take a look now, any second now, there we go. There's the fire animation. So this means the system is fixed. As anyways, thanks for watching and subscribe to the YouTube channel and click the like. Goodbye. So I can show you guys that the data is still here because if you take a look, all your apps still exist. So that's a thing to let you know. As you can see, the web method has worked and my device is fixed. So there we go. Thanks for watching.